Good morning and welcome back to the English session. Today we will be analyzing a poem How to Tell Wild Animals by Carolyn Wells. Carolyn Wells was an American writer famous for books based on mystery. There are many wild animals in the jungles of the east. So how will you recognize these animals if you happen to come across them? Let's explore. If ever you should go by chance to jungles in the east and if there should to you advance a large and tawny beast if he roars at you as you are dying you will know it is the asian lion. So the poet says well if you see a huge orange animal slowly walking towards you and if he roars as you die then it is definitely an asian lion or if sometime when roaming around a noble wild beast greets you with black stripes on a yellow ground just notice if he eats you the simple rule may help you learn the bengal tiger to discern so the poet says or let's see while roaming in the jungle you come across a black and yellow striped wild beast a very simple rule will help you identify this animal and if he eats you then he is for sure a bengal tiger if strolling for the beast you view whose hide with spots is peppered as soon as he has leapt on you you will know it is the leopard it will do no good to roar with pain he will only leap and leap again so the poet says or if you are walking and happen to find an animal with spots on its back and if he leaps and attacks you then you can call it a leopard and it would help if you cry out in pain he will just keep on attacking you over and over again if when you are walking around your yard you meet a creature there who hugs you very very hard be sure it's a bear if you have any doubts i guess he will give you just one more caress so here the poet means but it is not only in jungles that you find wild animals you can also meet them in your own backyard you can be sure that it is a bear if he holds you very tightly this very tight hold is called a bear hug and it can crush a bear's prey to death and if you have any further doubts then one more hug will definitely clear them though to distinguish beasts of prey a novice might know plus the crocodile you always may tell from the hyena thus hyenas come with merry smiles but if they weep they are crocodiles so here the poet says of course it is difficult for a beginner to differentiate between wild animals but even a beginner can distinguish between a crocodile or a hyena crocodiles cry while hyenas smile the true chameleon is small a lizard sort of thing he hasn't any ears at all and not a single wing if there's nothing on the tree it is the chameleon you see finally the author says that a chameleon is a small lizard with no ears or wings he can blend with his surroundings so if you can't see him sitting on a tree then you can be sure it's a chameleon and not a lizard now let's look at the literary elements of the poem hyenas come with merry smiles but if they weep they are crocodiles here hyenas and crocodiles have been personified human qualities of smiling and weeping have been given to the hyenas and crocodiles respectively it will do no good to roar with pain he will only leap and leap again you meet a creature there who hugs you very very hard the phrases lap and lap again and very very hard are examples of repetition if ever you should go by chance and if there should to you advance 
If strolling forth a beast you view, it will do no good to roar with pain. The vowel sound oo in you should then the vowel sound o in strolling and forth the vowel sound u in do good and to and the vowel sound o in no and roar are examples of assonance which means repetition of vowel sounds the lines or if sometime when roaming round if when you are walking round your yard a novice might nonplus hyenas come with merry smiles he hasn't any ears at all the consonant sounds r in roaming and round w in when and walking n in novice and nonplus and h in he and hasn't are examples of alliteration which means repetition of the first consonant sounds now let's look at the rhyme scheme if ever you should go by chance to jungles in the east and if there should to you advance a large and tawny beast if he roars at you as you're dying you will know it is the asian lion take a look at the first four lines of the stanza the words chance and advance rhyme with each other east and beast also rhyme with each other so let's assign the letter a to chance and advance and b to east and beast now look at the last two lines in these two lines the words dying and lion rhyme with each other so let's assign c to these words therefore the rhyme scheme is a b a b c c so that's all for today thank you and have a nice day